Not since the 1980s have consumers seen the level of inflationary impacts on the economy like we're now seeing today. From rising prices in grocery stores, at gas pumps, and supply chain disruption, things are getting more expensive. To take another page of the 1980s, could robots be the difference in helping us terminate inflation? Hello, I'm Mark Noble, Executive Vice President of ETF Strategy at Horizons ETFs. I'm not here to talk about a dystopian robot-controlled future envisioned by the creators of the Terminator, but rather the idea that one of the big tools that we have to combat inflation is advanced robotics. If 2021 was the year where we confirmed that inflation wasn't as transitory as initially expected, I think 2022 will be the year where investors and businesses look for a way to escape its consequences. One way I believe that could be achieved is through automation. COVID-19 has had a serious impact on global supply chains. Labor is in shorter supply and costlier, and shipping times lengthier, and ultimately, goods are becoming more expensive. Roughly two years in, we're still dealing with the same problems. A lot of companies are realizing that their global supply chains are a lot more vulnerable than they thought, and adding to concerns is a global shortage of labor. 11 million unfilled jobs in the United States alone. That threatens to grind economic growth to a halt. Historically, Employers would look for ways to incentivize employees with higher wages and benefits, but the double hit of rising production costs and wages could derail earnings, so instead of employers turning to human workers, there's a strong possibility they'll look to automation. No longer just science fiction, one of the solutions employers are pursuing to offset these rising costs and protect their operations is by opting for robotic workers. Here are four reasons why. One, labor costs are rising around the world. Meanwhile, the price of robots keeps falling. At the same time, robots are becoming more technologically advanced and productive. Two, caused by issues from climate change to geopolitical tensions, supply chain disruptions are becoming more common and robots can counter them. Three, aging populations in countries like Japan that do not have enough young workers will likely require more robots to fill industrial demand. And four, Countries like South Korea and Singapore already have far higher robotics usage than the US or China. There's likely to be global pressure to increase usage of robots in an effort to stay competitive with these leading economies. By 2026, the global robotics market could expand to $510 billion. For the industrial robotics market, it's expected to double in size in 2030, reaching $37 billion. While few occupations can be entirely automated, an estimated $713 billion worth of tasks in the US could be automated with machine learning. In some countries, robotics could drive a 30% productivity increase. While upfront costs for workforce automation might be expensive, in the long run, it's probably cheaper. Robots do not require pensions or benefits and can work constantly without downtime. The general cost of robot workforce integration pays for itself in roughly 1.7 years relative to the wages needed to employ humans to do some of the key industrial tasks. Even with higher component prices, one way to stave off wage inflation, or more importantly, find labor for key tasks, may involve turning to automation in key labor-pinched industries such as manufacturing, retail distribution, and even transportation through the use of autonomous vehicles and drones. Over the last 30 years, ending in 2020, the average robot price fell by more than 50% in real terms, while labor costs have increased over 100%, according to McKinsey & Company. While wage pressure increases in general apart from supply chain challenges, the cost of integrating artificial intelligence gets cheaper. One thing is for sure, robots aren't just science fiction any longer. They're here now and businesses are increasingly becoming aware of their potential to terminate rising labor costs and in doing so, make goods cheaper, cooling inflationary pressures. If you're interested in learning more about the investment potential of robotics, check out the Horizons Robotics and Automation Index ETF, RBOT, an ETF that seeks to replicate the performance of an index that's designed to provide exposure to the performance of equity securities of companies that are involved in the development of robotics and or artificial intelligence. Arbot holds many of the global leaders in the robotics and automation space that focus on key areas including semiconductors and industrial robotics. Currently, these companies have been challenged by supply chain issues and the specter of rising interest rates that could impact their forward earnings potential. 
these short-term challenges might be presenting an attractive entry point in what could be the most effective way that we can offset the rising costs of production.